So, how would you be able to access your crypto if Ledger, Trezor or another manufacturer goes bankrupt and any of the non-custodial wallets you have stopped working? Or what will you do if the wallet you use decides to no longer support some of your coins? Well, let's take a peek. Step 1. Find the wallet that supports BIP39. This is something you have never heard of before. But don't worry, I also didn't know about that standard before I made this video. BIP or BIP stands for Bitcoin Improvement Proposal. This is how Bitcoin and other cryptos update their code over time. Anybody can write a proposal to improve the blockchain, then that person can submit the proposal to the community of the specific blockchain and the community reviews it, votes on it and decides whether it's worth implementing or not. So why BIP39? BIP39 is a standard protocol that allows cryptocurrency wallets to generate secure mnemonic phrases and safely convert them into binary receipts. These seeds can be used for creating wallets that are very safe for storing crypto and thanks to this standard, you can now use a single seed phrase across multiple applications and services. This is precisely what we need. By the way, in the comments below, I placed a link to a list of reliable wallets that accept BIP39 and don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're there. Your support is very much appreciated. This list is constantly updating, but these wallets can be used to access your crypto from the blockchain in case a ledger or treasure goes bankrupt or stops supporting your assets. So now you can choose one of the wallets from this list, install it on your device, and we're good to go to take control of your coins. And don't forget that software wallets are not as secure as hardware wallets. So use this method as a last resort. Step 2. Now let me show you how to easily recreate your wallet even if it stopped working or is broken. I have the MetaMask app installed on my phone and I found a piece of paper with the seed phrase from the wallet 0x8673 as you see here. And since I no longer have that hardware wallet and I want to restore it, instead of pressing the create new wallet button in MetaMask, I choose to use the import using secret phrase option. All you need to do is to enter your seed phrase into the designated field, create a secure password for extra protection and click on the import button. And congratulations, now you have access to all of your funds again Unfortunately, I don't have anything in that wallet, but I can still confirm that it's 0x8673 wallet by checking its address. And if there was something there, I could easily move that funds and do whatever I wanted. That's why you always have to back up your seed phrase and have at least one hardware wallet. If I have a hardware wallet and seed phrase, then losing my seed phrase is not a big issue, because my private keys are still stored on the pen drive. So all it takes to access my coins again is to connect my hardware wallet to my computer. And then I can move my crypto to a new seed phrase and that's it. I am secure again. With this system in place, I can rest easy knowing that, that no matter what happens to me or my device, my funds remain safe. That's why I kindly placed links to the official stars in the description below. 